soon. Um, and I hope uh, during the next 90 minutes you will have a lot of fun with us during this workshop. Actually, we are going to do a little bit. Uh, we are going to do it a little bit differently, um, like you maybe um, are used to it from other workshops, because we also have a little a small paper in the beginning, um, kind of an introduction for you. But first of all, um, well, I'm Sebastian. You already heard it. I'm an uh, LIS student from Berlin, Germany, from Humboldt University, and I'm not alone here right now. I'm here with uh, Sanita from Latvia over there, Chiara. Um, Behind her, then there's Federica and Chiara and Federica, they are both from Italy. And the uh, guy with the camera is Dirk, he's also <laughs> from Germany. He's uh, doing some, some video stuff, uh, and we can upload it later so you can enjoy the workshop again, maybe. And uh, we are all in, uh, actively involved in the new professional special interest group of IFLA, IFLA, the um, International Federation of Library Associations and Institutions, um, which you have. Um, all heard about, I think. What are we going to do today? Here's a little agenda for you, just um, to have some structure. I, I mean, we are quite flex flexible, and maybe some parts take a little longer and a little less long. First of all, I want to introduce you to our group, um, talk a little bit about the background, what we are doing, what is our mission statement, and so on. Then Federica is going to have a little presentation, as I mentioned. Uh, she did a little survey about um, library advocacy and social media, the role of social, social media and library advocacy. Then we're going to have uh, the brainstorm session where you can, where you can get active. Um, I will tell you more about this later. And in the end, of course, we have some kind of conclusion. Um, we, will, we want to have some kind of group work and in the end every group um, uh, should present its, its findings and we, will, we can all discuss these findings together. Well, first, some basics about the NPSIG. So, NPSIG for New Professional Special Interest Group. Um, maybe you ask yourself, what is a new professional? I mean, it's, um, it's a quite easy word. Um, it's, uh, these are people new to the profession of library and information science. Um, and basically, I think um, these people are people like, like you and me. Um, you can say all of the LIS students are new professionals but also people that are already entered a job position. And um, but this, this doesn't uh, automatically refer to a certain, um, amount, uh, to a certain age. So also people in their 30s, 40s, 50s can be new professionals. It also has um, uh, to be, it's, it's connected to a certain um, kind of open-mindedness. If you are open-minded to new, new um, technologies or to change in the profession. So it's a really um, broad variety of people um, that are um, included in this group of new professionals. And this makes it quite interesting, I think. Um, and what about the MPSIG at IFLA? Um, you know, maybe at IFLA there are um, several sections covering all aspects of librarianship. And uh, there are also special interest groups. And we are dealing, um, well, with the new professionals. We are a forum at IFLA at the conferences um, and also at, at the website of IFLA to talk about issues related to new professionals. Um, and there are a lot of things um, you can talk about, like um, challenges of entering the profession or how to get a job, um, changing um, environments regarding the allied schools and so on and so on. And it's one of our major goals to provide a forum at IFLA. The second major goal, um, goal is to actively recruit and find new professionals to be included in IFLA, the IFLA network. Because IFLA as a library association, as a huge library association, really needs fresh people, new ideas, um, and this is one of the entrance, uh, well, the entrance doors to, for new professionals. And the third really in, um, important goal, um, besides our um, other goals uh, that are really focusing on, on IFLA and the work of IFLA, it's just a general thing. We want to encourage people to go to conferences, to enjoy um, networking, and to really see the benefit of doing all that stuff. I mean, you, you already had two days at Bobcats, and you maybe you have been to other conferences, not only Bobcats, and you know um, about the benefits for you and, and um, maybe also your job at home. Um, so we really want to whet appetite uh, and to get um, the, new, the new students of an LIS school to conferences. And this is part of our activities that we are doing workshops and uh, facilitating meetings. 
And um, regarding the uh, structure of the group, actually it's a quite open structure. Um, special interest groups at IFLA, they only have two um, official positions. So there's um, Dirk, he's the information coordinator, he deals with the um, well, uploading um, stuff at our blog, at our website, and maintaining all that stuff. And there's me, I'm the convener, I'm the guy who, well, who facilitates all, this, uh, all the other things. Um, but besides that, it's the huge community of people that I described to you five minutes ago. And it's um, every time it's the task to get these people together, to find people that are interested to join us. And the great thing is that everyone who wants to join us can join us. So there's nothing like a section where you have standing committee members. Um, you don't have to be a member here of IFLA. You can just say, this is my topic. I want to work with you about this. Um, could we do something together? Um, and I think this is a really great opportunity. Um, some words about the history of the MPSIG. Um, the MPSIG exists for a couple of years now. It was founded in 2004 at the IFLA Congress in Buenos Aires. And um, from there on, it changed from a discussion group, this is the first stage of an IFLA section, or of an IFLA body, um, and moved on to a special interest group, I think, in 2009. And at every program um, of each IFLA Congress, since back then, we had some, some programs. We had uh, satellite meetings or sessions to talk about relevant issues. Um, I'm sure you heard about um, the Library Lovers campaign in Sweden, um, which was also really um, having an impact on the IFLA Congress in 2010, uh, which took place in Gothenburg. And there we could have a really nice satellite meeting called the Global Librarian. I posted some pictures over there. Um, we really had a nice crowd of new professionals, about 70 people, and there was a lot of um, opportunity for networking, for good networking and uh, discussions. Um, well, one other thing maybe um, regarding uh, events of the NPSIG. Um, the next big thing for us is um, the IFLA Congress this year, of course, which will take place in Puerto Rico, the Caribbean area. And there we will, for sure, have another exciting program for you. Maybe some of you will be there as well. And the next year, 2012, will be in Helsinki, Finland. If you want to follow us, um, we have a couple of uh, uh, social media, which we um, constantly um, uh, feed with some, some content. Um, I also have some flyers with me. You can have them later or um, during the working group phase. Um, we have a Facebook, uh, a Facebook fan page, for example, um, where you can also meet other people. Um, I think um, currently there are around 850 people um, from all over the world. And we have our blog, which you can see the screenshot. And of course, Twitter and also some Flickr, um, Flickr photo stream. And we will also upload um, all the content from this conference to these media channels, of course. Um, and there is also the mailing list. Every flat group has a mailing list. Maybe a little bit old school right now, but we still have one. Um, there are currently, I think, uh, five or 600 people. So if you are interested, also join this one. Well, and now I think it's uh, Federica's turn. Um, as I mentioned to you earlier, she has uh, prepared a survey several months ago which was dealing with new professionals, new library advocates and the role of social media in that context. Also, well, enjoy her little presentation.